up guys? I'm at Twin Heads right now, the beach here. And What's up guys? I'm at my Airbnb here in Kingscliff Beach in Gold Coast, Australia. It's an amazing place, this Airbnb. I'm staying with one of the locals here. Yeah, if you've never heard about couch surfing or if you've never heard about staying with the locals, then I suggest you check it out because it, it will save you a lot of money. And as well as Airbnb has this special thing whereby you can stay with the local. Yeah, it cut the cost by half for me. Then trying to rent a house or trying to stay in a house on your own, it could be double the price or, you know, a little bit more expensive than staying with a local because you're staying in part of the house. You can always ask them, where's the nice place to eat? Where's the good food market? Where's the nice place to buy fresh seafood or fresh meat, fresh vegetable if you decided to cook yourself? So yesterday, we went up to Tweet Heads and I climbed on the edge of the breakwater, like the stones, and I almost fell. I managed to capture it on my GoPro and I might include the footage here. And the wind was really really strong but it was really really nice you know it was sunshine and breezy at the same time so it was really really good the weather is just fantastic so from driving through the mountainous region and cutting through the valleys of Queensland in Brisbane and Sunshine Coast to coming down to the beach and enjoy the sunshine it has been an amazing experience so far So anyway, today I'm going to Byron Bay, I'm gonna drive there from Kingscliff to Byron Bay, it's around another like an hour drive I guess, and just see the coastal area and in Gold Coast, that's the plan for today. I'm at Byron Bay right now, just chilling and relaxing, enjoying the sunshine. So from Sunset Drives, 
on the mountainous region of Queensland and cutting through the valleys of Queensland and coming down to the sunshine of Gold Coast. It has been an amazing experience. I always capture, I always film stuff, but at the end of the day, it doesn't give you the experience that you could experience in real life, if you get what I mean. Because you don't feel the wind, you don't feel the breeze, you don't feel the serenity of the environment. You have to be there physically to enjoy and take it all in. These road trips have been inspiring. The main reason I decided to take my driving license at the age of 18 is because so that I can do road trips. That's the fr primary inspiration or the primary reason and so that I can do a road trip. What's up guys, I'm just chilling by, I'm just chilling in a park here in Kingscliff beach area. Yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my seafood, my fish and chips. It's been an awesome and relaxing trip so far. I'm just gonna hang out here, have my fish and chip in this lovely afternoon weather. It is currently around 22 or 21 degrees Celsius. The gust of wind is, is a chilly one. I'm just enjoying the breeze, the cold breeze here in Gold Coast in King's Cliff. If you want to do road trips, I guess consider doing it in Australia and just do a farm stay. I did my farm stay in while I was in Melbourne. I was driving around the along the Great Ocean Road towards Western Australia, towards Adelaide. And yeah, it was such an amazing experience. It gets really, really cold at night, especially during winter and yeah but i'll see you at byron bay and i've been to australia like five times and i've done road trips on almost every major city from sydney perth um brisbane Melbourne and yeah Adelaide's not a nice place and 
it is definitely my next target and yeah as well as Keynes I wanted to go to Keynes originally I wanted to drive up to Keynes from Brisbane it's around 2,000 kilometers if I'm not mistaken it's doable it's doable for the for the time period that I'll be here in Australia it's doable but 